Hey guys, and welcome back to Halo Wars. When we last left off, we were on Anders Signal. Yes, I remember. We managed to get the skull and the box. Um, yeah, we got attacked by the flood. You have to give me that was uh, quite a while ago now. Um, so yes, Anders Signal. So now we're on the flood. Anders Transport Signal was a Fake, generated by an alien hive mind. After a difficult fight, the UNSC forces successfully destroyed the creature. Yes, the, the Flood. They're much, much smarter than uh, originally thought. They do have a collective intelligence. Uh, a hive mind, if you will. And it's actually incredibly intelligent. Hold your position, Red Team. Reinforcements will come to you. Sergeant Forge, rendezvous with Red there Team. There it is. Find Anders, but be careful. We don't All right. These things are capable. Nope. No, we do not. They're very unpredictable. Uh, there we go. That's good. Yeah, um... Also, the, the more, um, flood biomass... Um, that is on a planet, the smarter the Flood are as well, and they can get ridiculous. Uh, and also, the less there are, the stupider they are. So, it works both ways. You can see we don't have a typical base here. We have some elephants, and we have our main base. We've got a couple of troopers outside there, and Forge is not in his Warthog, which is kind of interesting. So, the first thing we're going to want to do on this level is build up. We are going to be taking to the sky to tame these bastards. They do actually have aerial units in this one, though. Alright, hold your ground, men. There's another base location here, which we will be lined towards in a minute. Just because it's good for getting resources. Supply pad complete. Come on, let's get this shit going. Worst part of the game... The worst part of any level was when you first start. Now, it's quite nice to have those two there, those extra resource pads. We can upgrade those as well, which is really nice. Now, to make the skull appear on this level, we need to destroy 20 flood stalks, which are um, kind of like weird flood tree things. They're actually harmless, and it's also very easy to achieve. So we shall certainly do that. There's also a bonus objective here that makes this mission uh, a little bit... Well, I, um, I'm not really sure the point of it. It doesn't really do an awful lot. Uh, but I'll explain that in a minute. I mean, it's worth an achievement, so... You know. It would be rude for us not to get it, even though I already have the achievement. We need to increase the size of our base... And we need that. Oh, we need level two to get the uh, air pad. That's a pain in the balls. Let's get our turrets up. Um, I think we're going to go for flame turrets. Maybe a mix of flame turrets and... Oh, right, okay. Well, we'll we're, we're roll with level two for now, I think. Um... Turret is complete. Alright, start cracking out some of these bad boys. Okay, good enough. We could go exploring, but the, it's literally pointless at this point. Literally pointless at this point. Yes, yes. That works. It works because I say it does. God damn it. Ooh. Little flood balloons. I do like those guys. They're funny. Damn. And even though we have all these resource pads, it's still taking an age to get resources in. Um, we could go for another arm. No, we. Yeah, we, actually, we could do that. It would be cheaper. Nice. Right, let's get you going as well. So this is where Spartan Team Red is waiting for us. As soon as we get there, we can get those guys. To be honest, like, it's cool having Spartans, but they're not really that 
Upgrade. useful here. I think on the harder difficulties they're probably uh, more useful, but for the purpose of this let's play we are of course just doing normal. I have done this game on Heroic, uh, I think Legendary as well, I'm not 100% sure, but I've definitely done it on Heroic. And at points that gets hard enough. All of our supply pads are upgraded which is great. We want a field armory. Now these are also fully upgraded. They have the extra armor and the auto cannons on top, which is very nice. There we go. Nice. Nice. Right, soon we're going to be ready to take to the skies and kick some serious ass. Come on, you fuckers. What have you got? Oh, do we not? Oh. We haven't upgraded these guys yet. Standard load isn't for every road. There we go. Get the flame mortars because that will have a huge upgrade Based to the amount the of damage that we do. Come on. 1200. That is a lot of resources. Right, we're going to start. Up. Get the reserves because we can afford it and then More stack. Yeah, I know. Then stack that. As soon as this is up, we can start upgrading and building our force. Come on, baby. Let's see that 100. Thanks, darling. Bollocks. It's level 3. We really do need level 3 as well. Like Hornets are pretty cool, but until they're level 3, they are very limited in their effectiveness, especially against uh, huge quantities of units. When you have lots of them, and they are um, upgraded with their wingmen. They are pretty deadly. Uh, I think I under underrated them a little bit in the last video. All right, keep it back, guys. Come on, don't be stupid now. Forge, Forge isn't even looking in the right direction. Then there we go. Nice. Uh, and we do want to get our medium level turrets as well. Because that's kind of essential, yo. Reactor improved. It's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, upgrading them from light turrets uh, all the way up to heavy turrets. I, or large, really, I suppose. I think it's small, medium, large. I think that's how it works. Something like that. Medium. Yeah, it does increase their hit points, but it doesn't seem to increase it by much, you know? Alright, now we can start massing. We're going to want about 15 of these guys, I think, for optimum destruction. And you better believe we're going to be making some serious destruction head their way. I'm going to be bringing the pain. They're only 250 each as well. They're very cheap. And as I said, they, they certainly are um, better than I gave them credit for. Might as well go for the max turrets. Damn the torpedoes and full speed ahead. Do we even need level 3 tech on this level? I'm not convinced we do. Definitely want that. That's useful because potentially we will be using that. Excellent. More resources required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will have more resources when we take that base. Which will be our first objective. I want as many. I wish we could queue these up, even if we couldn't afford them. There's our little hornets. Actually, ah, we do need level four, yeah, because we want the chaff. I don't know how useful the chaff is. I mean, it says against missiles, but ugh, I don't know what missiles are. I mean, 
Covenant very rarely use them. And the Flood don't use them often. Unless they're just being general missiles, as in any kind of projectiles, but I don't know about that. Uh, we also need to smash as many stalks as we can. There is more than 20. That's a stalk there. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, actually, these guys are incredibly weak on their own. There we go. We can destroy the eggs as well, but I'm pretty sure there's no point in doing that. But they do... Uh, uh, usually they leave uh, resources behind. That time we got unlucky. How many hornets do we have? We have six. Not enough. That will give us ten. You're Spartans. Chill out. Seriously. Ten should be enough for what we need. For now, we could actually go round the back, in all fairness. Got seven. Now, we can't actually get vultures in this level, which sucks serious hairy donkey balls. Because vultures would literally just roll this right over. No shits given. Ooh. Action. Come on. One more. Powers. We have carpet bomb and... Ooh. Ooh. That will do. Really expensive, but... We need it. Right, let's go. Car boys, group up. Actually, how, how much is that? It's 900. It's not cheap. Right, let's get these stalks down. Yeah, definitely strengthen numbers with these guys. Oh, they actually drop infections forms. That's interesting. There we go. Flatten them. Look at these structures. Massive structures. Destroyed pelican there. These uh, generate the little bubble kind of flood guys. The infectious forms. These do regen though. So as cool as it seems to destroy them. It's not a huge amount of point. However, when enemies regenerate in this, I don't th think... Yep, enemy turret. Go for it. Go for the turret. These these are quite devastating. I don't think they regen with full health. I think when they respawn... Yeah, he's, take, he's taken a freaking kick in. Right, destroy these turrets. These turrets don't regen. Yeah, I think they only regen with half health. Which is good. Trust me, it's good. Okay. Yeah, they definitely do seem to be taking more damage without those ECM pods. Again, good to know. Right. Let's drop a base in here. Let's pave the way. We're going to want to repair these boys too. There we go. So who's fucked up? You. Yeah, there are a few of you. There we go. Luckily, they do regen quite quickly as well. Nice. Everything's okay here. Cool. Get the ECM pods. Uh, we. Oh, really? Our resource problem should be over. They will be soon. There we go. Now the flood will have to split their forces because we have two bases up and running, which is good. So what are we at? Those boys are fine. Only nine. Ah, yeah. Here we go. 
More resources required. Damn it, 250. Come on. Get these turrets up. The turrets can pretty much look after these bases. They don't have to worry too much about it. I mean, it's kind of intimidating when you look at this one and it's set up to hell, but it's not too bad. Supply pad upgraded. Nice. Turret complete. Chaff Come on. Excellent. Chaff pods are up. Right. Let's go pacify this area. Now these here are flood hives. These are kind of like mini bases. We need to destroy them. Unfortunately they do regen on a timer. But there is a little bonus we can do as I was, uh, mentioned earlier. If we destroy all of these, there's about four of no, five of them. If we destroy them all at the same time, it weakens the hive mind. I don't think it's mission critical, but it is useful. Let's get these. I like the way it kind of freaks out as we're murdering it. Makes you feel good. We only really killed that many. Alright. For shits and giggles, we will. Let's get that and that. Yes. When the colony was destroyed, I registered the large creature weakening. Excellent. We noticed a few colony creatures on the way in. We can weaken the big one by taking them out first. And you're only just telling me this now because. And you know they're called colony creatures. Okay. Details, details. So yeah, we've got to knock all of these out at the same time, which actually is not that hard. You've just got to be a little bit uh, on the ball. I'm talking about being on the ball. Already at maximum population. All right. That'll be enough. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Alright, keep our little eyes peeled for stalks. Yes, veterancy. Although, as I've said, the veterancy doesn't seem to do much of anything. Never mind. There we go. Two more hornets here. Go join the battle group. Uh, sure. We shall research these things because why not? Get the new blood because we do have uh, troops on the ground. We're going to build these just because it makes our base stronger. You can see the, how much uh, armor the base has, I guess you could say. Okay. We all good? Excellent. Let's go make it rain. Let's have a health check. Yeah, not too bad. Luckily, this regen does recharge pretty quickly. Ready to go fuck shit up? Let's do it. New blood. Research. On my way. On my way. Might as well melt these down whilst we're here. On my way. After all, it's free experience. Ooh, what's back here? Oh, a stalk, yeah. Of course, we do need to take these out. Alright, we're up to six. That's okay. I don't think the eggs. Yeah, there's literally no point in destroying the eggs. Oh, hello. Air superiority here, I'm afraid, fellas. So if you could kindly, you know, fuck off out of my sky, muchly appreciated. Ooh, we've got 
turrets. Turrets are painful. Turrets really will ruin your day. Especially these ones. They are so powerful. Alright, uh, looks like we do have... Yeah, that one's now regen, but that's fine. Yeah, she's back up and breeding. Nice. Do you like my carpet bombs? And we're not getting slimed at, are we? Talking of carpet bomb. Let's get it maxed out. Now, the black box that we need is just down here. We will go find that in a second. Look at this free experience. Fools! Do you not realize you're making my men better? Okay. Alright, let's kill that. Come oh, on, guys, burn it. It's a shame you can't get phosphorus ammo. That'd be lush. Keep killing those things. The big one is even weaker. Yeah, baby, I know it. Nice. Right, we're up to 13. God, the amount of rockets these guys waste, it's unreal. It's almost as if they're unlimited or something. Everyone's health is good. Now we have the best carpet bomb we can have. I don't think that actually makes the carpet bomb more expensive either. It does not. See, this thing's back up again. I wish you could permanently right kill flood buildings. They kind of remind me a lot of the Zerg, actually. I guess it's a kind of a similar-ish principle, I guess. What do you got? You got nothing. Yeah, might as well have the RPG ability. There's no real reason not to. Alright, we know we've got 15 Hornets. We should always have 15 Hornets at once. No point in wasting that. Right. Right, before you annihilate the buildings, guys, please destroy the things that are shooting us. Oh, that is not good. You bug out. Bug out. He's not getting out of there quick enough. Base under attack. Here. I think he just about survived that. RPG right, let's go regen our units. Uh, guys, are you fucking simple? What am I talking? Of course you are. Uh, right, go over there by the black box. If I've actually lost Hornets because of you, I'm not going to be very happy. The first one is to yeah, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Is there no toggle to actually keep checking these guys' health? There isn't. You have to mouse over them for their health bars to appear. There's probably a settings for it somewhere. But it doesn't matter too much. Right, let's keep going. Keep pacifying the ground. Burn it all! Glass these bastards back to the Stone Age. Peace through superior firepower. That's what we're talking about. Right, come on, guys. Enemy air defense. Destroy it. Multiple enemy air defenses. You're down. Come on, guys. Get in there. Hopefully each of those turrets have got a different target. Pull these guys out. Pull them back. Pull them back. Pull them back. Really don't want to lose anyone. Right, there we go. What about you boys? You boys are quite damaged as well. Get in there. Enough space in the regen beam for everybody. Not really sure how this regen beam works. We will not question it. 
We'll accept it as the law. Guys, stay in the regen beam, please. Okay, that regen beam didn't really do a great job, to be honest. Oh, talking of doing a great job. That's all of those done. So let's go grab the skull. Talk about insane firepower. This is absolutely mad. These guys are absolutely vicious. Got the 20mm cannon and the rockets. Such a crazy little uh, battle platform. Really cool little idea, actually. All it is, really, all it would be these days, I suppose, is a little drone platform. Now, if I was a skull. I'll be around here somewhere. There we go. Nice. Got the eggs there that we don't give a shit about. Ah, there it is. By the destroyed pelican. And that is a rebel leader skull. Nice. Okay, not bad. Let's continue pacifying the area. Yes, 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 yes. It's fine. You worry too much. How much health does it have when it regens? Oh, okay, so it regens with literally nothing. So it's not really anything to worry about. Let's keep cutting a swath of destruction across the landscape. I suppose really we could go find our Spartans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moan, moan, moan. I've lost Anders transponder. Could the creature be jamming the signal? Maybe. As we've discussed, these creatures are way smarter than you give them credit for. How's everyone's health? You can get in the ring of health. Right, you guys. You know, you guys just. Oh, actually. You guys go over here. Go help these guys out. Can you grab that, please? Thank you. Right, these guys. We'll finish the fight. At least we don't have to worry about the stalks anymore. Good stuff, guys. Burn it all. Nice. Just continue feeding these things rockets. I love all the uh, debris that comes flying off these things. Just like in the actual game. Alright. Here comes their artillery. Ooh, that was not good. We may actually lose some units here. Possibly. But that's war. Unfortunately. Go get it. Go get them, boys. We're down to 14. Get them out of there. Alright, let's pull our boys back. There we go. All missiles have not yet been fired. Uh, get rid of these guys. Remove this filth. Uh, I kind of meant the flying filth, but uh, okay. There we go. All the colonies are now dormant. Oh. Yeah, well, that's good enough for the achievement. Oh, hello. Did we not destroy this one? I guess we didn't. Probably going to lose another Hornet here. No, we're good. 
Yeah, so basically by, by taking those colonies offline, you can see... Oh, okay. Haha, <laughs> mission complete. You can see that uh, you're just weakening it. <laughs> Captain, as soon as that creature died, I picked up a new signal just east of here. Excellent. And we got the gold. Oh, and the part time as well. Only just. But uh, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning, my friends, is certainly winning. Anyway, that's how I guess you burn the flood to the ground. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.